hey guys welcome back it's actually been a while all right let's get into it in this video i'll be telling you guys why i think bonaboy won the grammy awards just purely based on my own opinion i'll be glad if you can hit the subscribe button and give this video a like let's get into the video Alright guys, so Bonaboy won the 63rd Grammy Awards this year for Best World Music Album and that's one great achievement. Now most people might think he won the award plainly because the album Twice as Tall is great. Well that's not the only reason, that's not the way the Grammy Academy works. So before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about the artist Bonaboy. So guys, Bonaboy emerged in the early part of 2010 as one of Nigeria's fastest rising stars. His 2012 single, Like to Party, proved to be his breakout track and paved the way for his full-length debut, Life, a year later. Over the next five years, Bonaboy released two more albums and collaborated with a variety of artists. He actually gained more international exposure with his 2018's Outside album, which hit number 3 on the Billboard Reggae chart and won the Nigeria Entertainment Award for Album of the Year. In advance of his next LP, 2019's African Giant, the LP was nominated in the Best World Music Album category of the 62nd Grammy Awards. In August 2020, Bonaboy dropped the full length twice as tall which was nominated for the same category at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, making him the first Nigerian with back-to-back -back nominations at the Grammys. In 2021, he won the award. So guys, like I said, Bonaboy didn't win the Grammy Awards for Best Album only because his album was great. That's not how the Academy works. For Bonaboy's album to be nominated, he has someone on the inside who like lobbied for the nomination. Someone who is really important in the Academy. And for Bonaboy to win the award, it's obviously not because of his album was perfect. There is someone working an angle in the Academy for him. That's my, that's my opinion. And I have a reason for saying that. So guys, why I said that is this. There are a lot of great singers who have still not gotten any Grammy nominations. For example, we have Selena Gomez. We used to say she doesn't make great music, but she has never been nominated. She's been in the music scene far before Bonaboy got recognized. But still, Bonaboy got nominated twice and won only on the second try. It's a great thing for Nigerians, but Bonaboy didn't win it plainly because his album was perfect. There are politics that goes on in the academy that favors some singers who knows people in the academy, people that lobbied for Bonaboy's nomination, and also people that made him win. Though I'm not saying his album isn't great, it is very awesome. His songs are different and unique, but that's not the only reason he won the award. I mean, Whiskey, David Doe, Rema, Fireboy, they still have never been nominated and have never won the Grammys. Only Whiskey was been able to get a win from Beyonce's Brown Skin Girl, but it still isn't like Bonaboy's win. Anyways guys, it's just my opinion, drop your thoughts about what I've said, drop what you think, I really love to see them, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I really want to know what you think about my opinion on Bonaboy's Grammy win, so don't forget to drop a comment, I'll see you in the next video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button too, alright guys, bye.